All right. Hopefully I can just make this video real quick, uh, do it in one take, uh, have all the glitches flow together, and you guys can click throughout the uh, links down below on the YouTube video to the part of the, uh, of the video where you want to know about the specific glitch. I will show off uh, vendor glitching, so you can get caps and items from any vendor and stuff. Um, quick reloading. Uh, item climbing and clipping with items. Um, power armor clipping. And uh, cover slides. And wrong warping. Um, there's other glitches in the game, such as uh, duplicating like the stats stuff with dog meat. Um, or you know, like having NPCs walk into each other like I just saw. But yeah, I'm just going to do the ones that are relevant to speedrunning for now. So I'll start off with Vendor Glitch. So here's the vendor. I'm in Good Neighbor right now. Cleo. I'll talk to Cleo. Get past her dialogue. Sure. Let's take a look. Sure. Alright. So the way that I do it is by all of one type of ammo. Use my arrow keys to go back to one ammo. Uh, hit enter or E to confirm that. So I sold back one of the full ammo stack that I bought. Then I will sell all the ammo. And I have one ammo left. So I will constantly sell that one ammo. I can click and press E to make things go faster. I can also press E and enter and click to triple the speed, but yeah. And once she has a high amount, you can sell back a small portion. Like, I go for about, you know, 40 to 50 percent. And now you didn't exactly buy that many from her. You bought a different amount. So, you just start buying all of her stacks. And you gain an exponential amount of caps, a, like twice the amount of caps that you did last time, because she's getting twice as much. Um, so there's that. So now you've underflowed the payment so much, and you can buy anything you want from her. Um, so yeah, that's vendor glitching. There's multiple ways to do it, um, but that's the way I do it. It's the quickest way. Uh, for the next glitch to show you, I'm going to want to have a gun. So I'm going to buy some shotgun ammo. And... Let's see. I'll get this. That sounds good. I'll also get some 10 millimeter. Alright. So for... the quick reload glitch that is used in the speedrun, I'm gonna bind this to two, and bind uh, this to one, just for showing purposes. So my gun is at one, and my shotgun's at two. My shotgun is going to go down to one ammo. I will just simply press one and then two again to switch to my pistol and then back to my shotgun. And it reloaded. And that is a lot faster than this. Because you can do this instead. Whoops. And same thing goes with the 10 millimeter. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, next I'll show item climbing. I know there's a bucket upstairs in Good Neighbor. Uh, you'll have an item that you hold. Uh, it's got to be able to move kind of quickly or else you won't move very quickly. And it's got to be shaped a certain way as well. So this bucket um, is pretty useful. Buckets are easy to do it with. All you do is hold it generally uh, close to you. You can get close to it if you crouch and then walk close to it. Um, so if you grab it from as far as you can, like, that's not going to be close enough to you to really item climb very well. So, if you crouch and then get close, and then grab it and then uncrouch, it'll be at a pretty close distance. 
and you simply just climb up walls by putting it towards the ground and walking backwards into them. And it's really easy. I'm just doing it like that. I'm just pressing S on my keyboard. You can do this on console as well. It's really cool for getting to places like that jetpacks are necessary to with power armor. Um, so yeah. And with the bucket, um, I'll just attempt to steal it over here real quick. So nobody sees me. You can also clip while item climbing because some walls in the game are very uh, are sensitive and not built very well. So I've never clipped in here before because I've never really seen a purpose. Um, because it's a pretty small building and running around on your own is faster than going in your inventory and dropping a bucket out. But just for demonstration, pur uh, demonstration purposes, I will May have walked out of the den, Anna, but I uh, tr attempt to clip with this bucket indoors. Uh, so I'm just going to go up to a corner and item climb with it and hopefully go through a ceiling. Oh, there we go. And now I'm out of bounds. And when you void out like that, it resets your position to what's called the COC. Uh, it's essentially the uh, origin of every indoor map. So yeah. That's used to sequence break a lot of parts in the run. Now I can show you clipping with power armor. I think I can do every single glitch in Good Neighbor. It's kind of interesting. Because Cleo sells some. Hey, Cleo. And if we want to afford that power armor, we can just do the vendor glitch again. So buy all of it. Back down to one. Sell it all. Sell a lot. Buy back a little. Exponential increase. And we are going to buy the power armor frame. And her power armor is right here. We're going to get inside of it and have some fun. So it's very simple to do. Uh, we need a fusion core to do it. Not to do it, but to make things so much easier. Every weapon you see here could be the difference between life and death, baby. That's a new one. Let's see what you got. Let's get up. So, that was sloppy. But the point is, I got a uh, fusion core. So you got your power armor here all powered up and ready to go. Uh, when you're in third person, we'll just use this wall for example. Really simple to understand. Stand in front of the wall get out of the power armor, and then re-enter it as soon as you can. And you'll see how I'm a little bit forward. What, you drive? And the power armor will come with you. Now we're on the other side of the wall. And that's very useful in the run. Especially in the Institute, when you can uh, survive all kinds of fall damage with this thing. And the remaining two are probably the most complicated and interesting and tough to do, but I will show the best I can. 
This is called cover sliding, where if you're up against a wall and your gun gets pointed down like that, if you didn't know, you can look down the sights and go behind cover like this. But if you're looking down the sights, and then you go into third person, you let go of the sights, and then you walk around, we never did the animation of going back into cover once again. So we can move around as much as we can while in third person here. Not right now. And as long as I just go back into first person again. It'll zip me back to where I was. Now, in theory, that could save time with backtracking, but the only cover slide that I find necessary so far in the run, with the current route as of release of this date, is to build up the cover slide indoors. As I will do here. And I'm going to leave the loading zone, because the cover slide is still active. And it needs to warp us somewhere. It needs to slide us somewhere. But it doesn't know where to put us. So as long as we have our gun out, and we either use our Pip-Boy, or we go into first person, because both things put us in first person mode. It's just that the Pip-Boy lets us go in and out of first person multiple times. So you can either do it once by going into first person, or do it multiple times by using the Pip-Boy. Because when you come out of the Pip-Boy, you'll be back in third person again. So I'm going to use it by going into first person, and I'll be zipped towards the center of the map. Of the entire overworld map. Yeah. I was just standing right there, and I moved over here. It just shot me towards the center of the entire map, which is right around green tech genetics, roughly. And uh, if you're using jet when you slide towards the center of the overworld map from charging a cover slide that was indoors, uh, you'll go even further because jet slows down time and it gives you more available frames to uh... for like while you're going into first person or while you're lifting your pit boy up to your face or whatever you like scary stories? Makes, it just makes sense if you think about it that simply and the last one is uh... wrong warping which could also be called load warping or uh... i guess there was one i heard called like uh, save layering, save layering, but that's kind of tough to say. So wrong warp has just been thrown around a lot, and it is technically a wrong warp. Um, to show this one off, I will create a save file that is um, let's see. I will load a different save file just to make things so much easier. Here we go. This one's really easy. Well, it's the easiest, in my opinion. For this save file that I'm loading, it's a hard save that is on the outside of the glowing sea. Uh, I'll just get rid of that. Get rid of that guy over there, just for testing purposes. Um, and create a new hard save. Alright, so I'm outside Virgil's cave. Just cave entrances are easy to show this off with. And these loading screens aren't going to be too long. So my save file that was just made outside that cave has all this stuff on it. Now right here I am going to drop all those things on the ground. I'm going to make a big mess. And then I'm going to quick save my game. Now, if I reload this new save that I just made outside, right here,
as I will, I will just go in. And there's no mess on the ground because, you know, we reloaded a previous save file. This is all making sense. Yep. But let's try this. Since I made the quick save after dropping all the stuff on the ground, I'm going to attempt to quick load at the exact same time that I enter this loading zone. Now, the mess is on the ground still. The mine, it doesn't appear. Sometimes mines get bugged, but the pistol's there and the other pistols there, and so is the Molotov. Um, right there. And so is our minigun. And where we should have stood when we, when we reloaded was right here where we made the quick save. As you can see, the picture for our quick save is staring right where we are right now. But we spawned right here when we came in the room. With this, we can say, for example, have the courser chip analyzed by railroad men, like Tinker Tom, and then quick save our game, and then do what we just did right here by bringing that quick save into this room. And that will save time because that is faster than backtracking through the back of railroad headquarters. Hold it. Take it nice and, slow. and then fast traveling all the way back here. I know you're from the Institute. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any other questions, there's going to be an FAQ posted below. And... Uh, you can also watch the records and speedruns and check on the forums of speedrun.com slash fallout underscore four. Um, as I said, there are other glitches in this game, but I just listed the ones that are good for marathons. I, I mean speedruns and marathons and everything of that such. Um, item duplicating and other things that have been found are not exactly useful because they're slow. But yeah.